guys welcome back to my channel and my self-telling series so very excited this week guys very excited because it's a tan that i've been waiting to review for a long long time but it's been so expensive like it's i think it's originally about 29 30 pounds on their website and in general everywhere else but on beauty bay they had a quick sale on the coco and eve products i think it was beauty bay i can't even remember <laughs> um but i got it for 20 pounds guys mm, it is the coco and eve Sunny Honey Barley Bronzing Foam in Ultra Dark. See, the light is not great, but it's Ultra Dark, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, it's 200ml. Like I say, I paid £20, but originally it's about £29.30. So I'm going to make sure that it's worth the money that you are paying for this, guys, because it's expensive. Um, so let's see what it says at the back. I'm assuming it's going to have some good effects to it, but you're paying more. Um, so it says unique cellular shape formula infused with raw virgin coconuts, botanicals and amino acids to hydrate and firm the skin. So yeah, straight away, we like firm skin. <laughs> uh, enriched with barley inspired ingredients such as mandarin oil and natural antioxidants including fig, banana, papaya and cocoa to help improve signs of ageing. Oh, this sounds all good guys. I'm liking all this. Uh, blurs pigmentation and imperfect skin. Hmm. Tropical Bal Balinese, Balinese, I don't know if I pronounced that right. <laughs> Mango and Guavana scent, lightweight, non sticky formula with a green grey base. Green grey, so we know straight away it's a green grey. I don't need to figure it out at least. Um, for a natural looking golden glow with no orangey tones, fast drying develops in just two hours. However, it does say leave on overnight for the darkest tan, which I do anyway with all my tans or leave on throughout the day. It's 100% natural DHA and vegan friendly and cruelty free. So, it sounds really good, guys. It sounds amazing. Um, like, usually I like a red undertone, but I've tried Tanologist, which was a green-grey, and that was really nice, guys, actually. Um, so, yes, what I'm going to do is scrub this all tan off, exfoliate, moisturise, just the dry areas I need to. Then I'll, we, we shall come back. See, I can't even speak. We shall come back and apply this, see the smell, the colour of the application. Then I will leave it on overnight, then come back to you in the morning before I wash it off and then I'll wash it off and then show you the results after one layer and then I'll put on a second layer probably leave it on throughout the day wash that off and come back to you in the evening once I've done my hair and makeup so guys I will see you in a second Hi guys so I'm back I've scrubbed off the old tan exfoliated moisturized just the dry areas I need to like elbows and stuff like that you know the dry areas <laughs> um so guys rubber gloves on yes I use rubber gloves instead of a mitt entirely up to you what you use it's just I prefer it soaks up less of the product if you're new to my channel that's the reason why <laughs> so guys I've got the tan haven't pumped it yet give it a shake <laughs> Ooh, my favorite bit this is guys <laughs> so here we go oh that smell is beautiful Wow, I love that smell. Tropical fruity. Oh, that is really tropical, but not like overpowering, but really nice, really fruity. Oh, I love fruit. I love fruity stuff, guys. I love fruity scents. Yeah, so that's right on my street. Um, so guys, obviously it's a green grey undertone. It has already said that. And yes, you can see that it is that sort of more olive based shade um it's a nice consistency of a tan actually oh <laughs> it is nice i really like it but then again you are paying a lot more i know i'm going to keep saying it but you do expect more from a nearly 30 pound tan so look how glistening that is <laughs> Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Right, let me do my neck then. That smell is amazing. That's like, um, like the Be Perfect tans. Like, they smell lovely as well. Like that fruity mango and stuff. I actually prefer, I mean, I know a lot of people probably don't, but I prefer a little bit of a nice smell, like a coconutty smell to a tan. Just makes it nice 
nice to apply and said a no smell. But obviously I understand why people don't want no smell to the tan as well as for other reasons. That shade. Ooh, I'm just going to do one arm then, guys. One arm. And then compare the arms. It's applying really nicely. Let me show you. I mean, has anyone ever tried this? Because this smell is beautiful. <laughs> it really is. I didn't expect how nice the smell was. <laughs> it's important. But, um, yeah, this consistency is lovely. And you can feel like it's got the moisturising ingredients in it. You can feel it's quite a moisturising sort of mousse. See, I'll apply this better when off camera. <laughs> I'm just quickly doing it now just to show you what it looks like. But, obviously, I will blend it in a little bit better. Although, as long as you've covered everywhere, it should be all right. It might look a bit streaky, but like I say, this is just the guide colour. Again, I ain't got a mirror <laughs> here, so I'm looking in my camera. So if I'm not looking at the lens, that's that's why. Because I'm just looking at myself doing it. <laughs> just to make sure I'm covering areas. So let me see if this will work, guys. So here we go. So can you see? It is lovely. Ooh. Yeah, I like it so far, guys. So what I'm going to do is do the rest of my body and my face off camera now. I use a mitt for my face. It's just nice on your face because it's more sensitive. Um, and then uh, I will come back to you in a second, guys. Hi, guys. So I've just done the rest of my body and face now. And here it is. It looks glowing, guys. I think that's a little bruise there. <laughs> um, do you know what? The smell is the best smell I've tried so far in my reviews. Um, the application smell, obviously it might go to DHA like most do, but that fruity smell, that tropical fruity smell is beautiful. My favourite so far in the smells, definitely. Yeah, so that, that is a winner. <laughs> um, yeah, but it looks glowing, really nice colour applied nicely so so far so good guys so i'm gonna leave this on overnight now and get back to you in the morning before i wash off the guide color so see you guys morning guys so i've had this tan on all night and here it is before i've washed it off so it's looking nice and dark not much dha smell at all actually really really good just a tiny bit slightly now actually more than in the night time um yeah it's looking a really nice color I'm excited to see what we're going to have, guys. <laughs> Stickiness wise, about 15 minutes and then it was fine. So, yeah, all good at the moment, guys. So, I'm hopping in the shower now. So, see you in a minute. So, guys, I've just come out of the shower and here are the final results. I am in completely natural light as well. So, I'd say it's a dark, medium to dark shade. It's a beautiful colour. It's streak free. It looks really nice. It's washed off a bit on, on my face, actually. Most do, but it has definitely washed off on my face, as you can see, look. Um, again, like I say, we all price your tans that claim to be ultra dark. Like, I expect ultra dark from paying a more expensive price, I guess. However, it's still beautiful, but I think, you know, if I was getting this on a regular, I'd want ultra dark one layer first time around. I'm still going to have to put that second layer on, you see, to get me where I want to be with the ultra dark anyway, personally. Anyway, that's my personal opinion. But I absolutely love this colour though. Love it. Um, so yes, guys, I'm going to put on a second layer right now, leave it on throughout the day, wash it off and then come back to you once I've done my hair and makeup. So guys, I'll see you this evening. Hi guys, so it's the evening now. I've had the second layer of the Cocoa and Eve tan on all day. I've just washed off my body and here are the final results after second layer. So, it's a beautiful olive tone tan, definitely. It's street free, looks really nice. I really like it. Do you really like it? Um, bearing in mind, obviously, the price that it is originally, which is about £29, I would say... Um, if you want to splash out the cash, definitely recommend, actually. It is a really nice tan, to be honest. Um, you know, if you're a weekly tanner and you're happy to spend that money on, on a tan, 
even if you do weekly tan, then yeah, it's great. The, the smell is beautiful and there's not much DHA smell and it's a nice olive undertone of a tan. Um, obviously, if you're not, then there are all the tans cheaper out there that, you know, you can get this colour. Uh, but yeah, no, I would recommend, guys. I, I definitely would. Um, I will link the Coco and Eve website down below and so the Beauty Bay as well because I think that's where I got it from. Um, so yeah, if you wanted to buy it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Really appreciate it. If you like the video, please give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you've got any comments, from leave them in the comment section down below. And I will see you next week for my next time review. Take care, guys. Bye.